Just dish it right here. Away. I've been less loaded since I got this book because it tells me what I should be eating and what I shouldn't be eating based on my left side. And I have it in my Amazon storefront, which is in the bio. So if you want it, you can eat it.
purposeful on that platform but i told myself i wanted to grow on youtube like make that a priority but honestly guys like i said in my last vlog like it is really hard doing this doing this on this platform when you don't really want to share much um so i plan to do more sit down videos and just things that make me feel good like i do vlogs because i enjoy them you know i enjoy not having to um i enjoy like the storytelling of it but i also like i said in my last vlog don't want to share my life as much like and i think that my last vlog did that like i feel like i was able to share enough but not share so much you know because I don't know I've just I enjoy the the idea of living on a, on a platform but no one not knowing how I live like I know that so many people are just nosy and they want to hear intimate conversations when I spend time with my husband I don't have my camera out when I spend time with my girlfriends I don't have my camera out when I spend time you know like I just I don't because I'm living in the moment and the things that I do capture, sometimes when I go back to edit, I'm just like, I don't want to share that. Like, you know, like, it's just, I want that to stay with me. And that is the hard, that is the hard part about content creating and vlogging. And because it's like, you want to share, but you don't want to share. You know, I don't know. I'm just loving this season that I'm in. And I'm trying to honor it and respect it and respect my feelings, respect my, um, my thought on it and of course everyone around me is respecting it as well so yeah I'm, I'm trying my best I'm gonna share as much as I can without sharing as much as I can and I and I hope that you guys um, respect it and understand it and still feel connected to me um, without knowing as much as you used to before does that make sense yeah <laughs> and I'm sure if you guys are smart you guys have noticed the shift and notice all of the things and all of the changes and all of the the disattachments and all of the things all of the things i'm sure you guys have noticed and i've learned a lot and i like i said i enjoy this season that i'm in like i my thoughts don't need to go on the internet my thoughts don't need to go on youtube my thoughts don't you know it's like there's just something so beautiful in silence um you have your tribe and that's it you just that's it <laughs> I'm grateful that God has graced me enough that I have become unrecognizable to myself because the things that I can do now are things that I would have never been able to do before. And I had to tell God, I said, listen, God, if you need to make me go through all of this so my kids don't have to go through it, please do. Please do. Because I, I rebuke my daughter and my son going through any other type of foolishness that i've had to experience in my life thus far okay i rebuke it yes it builds character the woman that i am right now is like it's just you you don't become this woman without going through things so i'm grateful however i just don't want my baby girl to go through it i hope that i'm going through it enough for her <laughs> because i'm strong enough to do it you know i don't want her to have it i don't want their kids to have it i don't want their kids, kids. i want to stop whatever whatever is on this generation in this family in this bloodline I want all the bad things to end with me and I want only the good things to carry through that's it I'm going to if I make it because the traffic is crazy Hi. <laughs> it's so good Shout out to Q1. Q1 was great. And now Q2 is going to be great. Okay. Anyway, that is so good. I was just thinking, like, I love the fact that God took me through this wilderness season. Woo! 2003 was definitely my wilderness season, okay? And I'm so happy that I went through it because I praised his name. Even though I had bad days, even though I was down, even though like everything was just terrible, anxiety and depression and sadness and all the things, right? 
And to now be on the other side of that, to now be in, in peace and in joy and abundance and like just so much goodness. God is, my cup is literally running, okay? And it's overflowing and I'm just so grateful. But what I wanted to say is I'm just grateful that I'm, I've, I've been able to, to scream his name and sing his praises throughout all seasons because a lot of people forget, you know, what God has done for them when they were down as soon as they get back up. And I'm going to be forever singing his praises. I'm going to be ever giving glory to him and praising him until the day I die, okay? And I don't know, that was just on my heart and I just felt the need to say that. I don't know if you're a person that's down right now and that you are calling on God and, and like praying to Jesus every day and all those and all the things. Um, I just don't want you to forget him when you are back up because you will be. And when you are, when things are going great for you and I want you to remember to honor him every day the same way that you are honoring him the same way that you are honoring him right now in your wilderness season, if this is a wilderness season. And for those who are out of the wilderness season, to God be the glory, okay? Because I knew I was going to be out of the wilderness season. I'm not going to lie. I, like, I, there's always the, the light at the end of the tunnel, always, in every situation. So I knew that that season was going to be done and I was going to make it to the other side um, and be, you know, like be Nikita again a better version of Nikita but um it's hard to see it when you're when you're there but you just have to have that faith right that you will get there and it just feels so good that's it I'm done ranting let's go get the sandwich I'm about to go get a sandwich I don't know if I don't know if, so it was taping but I don't know if it caught what I said because it stopped there is a sandwich that I like to get because I'm not supposed to eat wheat anymore. So I'm not, I'm no longer eating wheat. Anything with wheat in it, I shouldn't eat. It's not good for my blood type. So I'm literally just trying to alter the things that I eat based off my blood type. Anyway, the sandwich that I eat is so good. I make it at home because of here. But anyway, we're about to go get it. I'm going to show you and try to make it at home because I live too far for y'all to be coming out here to try this. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Good morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. <laughs> good afternoon. Hi. Are you guys still making the breakfast sandwich? Yep. Okay, yep. good. Yep. I'm going to do my... I was going to say, I think that's what you're using. Yes. <laughs> um, and then can we have no bacon in it? No bacon. You know that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then... No um, that's fine. I usually say not too much avocado, but it's fine. I should be eating avocado. Avocado is good for you. So keep it, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and that's it. And that's it? If Got I it. knew you were here today, I would have gotten my drink from here. I went to the other place because I was like, nobody makes my drinks like you. She made so me a drink once. I don't know, but you just need to take a course for her. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. He would help me, but I also feel bad, like constantly, oh. you know, like, oh, I'm to It's the yeah. feedback. It's feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Let me know how you like, yeah. and I will always try. Yeah. Always try. Thank yep, you. Yeah, of course. But yeah, See, I remember your order. Yes, you, you did. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna I was like, I'm gonna get my drink from there, and sure. then I'm gonna get my. You're like splitting it up. Okay. I, I, I need to get my nails done. My nails look absolutely crazy. Um, it's been about four weeks. My nails grow so quickly. I um started going back to my girl Lana. It's so good. It's so good. I don't eat bacon, so I asked him to take it out. I feel bad. Because I hate when I'm watching other YouTubers <laughs> and they're eating and I'm hungry. Mmm. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, see? Cheese. I'm just seeing your mouth. <laughs> Kyrie is such a big boy. I can't even do. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark, your story's untold. Come take my hand and walk there.
onion curly. It looks so good. Turn, let me show them. The quality, it matches. She did a really good job. Turn vlog. <laughs> I know it's been a while. It's been seven months to be exact. I am, but I'm gonna go get the um. I am her by Feather Moon by Jackie Anna. Twenty? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you tricking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then how much do you have? I don't know. <laughs> wait, come on, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. Come on, let me do your edges, cross. Why? Green hair zone? Yeah. Can I see? Are you playing as tails? On a scale from 1 to 10, how excited are you? 1,000 plus 10. <laughs> <laughs>
in just trying to stay inside but as you guys saw that that didn't happen <laughs> um so <sighs> but we're gonna go work out and i'm excited i looked in the mirror today naked i was very excited with what i saw i'm gonna have to do my nails again because i already missed my french i've been doing french for the past for over a year now <laughs> I love my French. I just love my French. To get to where I want to go in this space, I need an assistant. I need like a young person, preferably that lives in Suffolk, <laughs> that loves content creating, all those things. Because when I'm trying to go, I need an assistant. I need help. I cannot do all of these things by myself. I have so much. Get up. had an earthquake <sighs> because all of my family members all of my friends um were calling us and texting us asking us if we were okay because they felt it and we did not feel a thing like nothing we wouldn't have never known there was an earthquake and that makes me think to myself hmm Thank you, God. You know, I don't know. It's like, I like, like, I don't know. I could be thinking too much into it, but it's, it's kind of like God sending me a message, like, like, you know, you guys are gonna be fine, no matter what. Like, you know, like, in this, like, I don't know. But I just, I, that just had this piece of comfort. Like, let's go handle our business. I will talk to you guys later. But before I go, I want to say, if you experienced the earthquake and you were scared, right? That is your time. God will 
be covering you if you, if you don't feel it. If, if you feel it, God's not feeling you. If you do feel it, God is feeling you. <laughs> we're gonna be with him that's just how you should feel so if you are scared and terrified and like if you had that moment of uncertainty I want you to repent and ask God for forgiveness and get right with the Lord because God is can come at any time we do not know when God is gonna come and if you are not ready you will you will be left behind I mean, you don't want to be left behind you want you want God to say well done. There's a curtain and there's I'll just show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. And then there's it's all yellow. It's all, it's all yellow? Excuse me. Oh. I see it. I see it. This one? Yeah. <laughs> you are really smart. I don't really know what's called. It's called it's called, it's called good day. Birds are singing praise. I have a good day.
we are looking for a circle, right? Wait, these are perfect. Those are too small. Oh. Because we have to create... The planet. Yes, the planet. Look, so, what about... Another. But what about this one? Oh, okay. You like this one? Yeah. Okay, we got this. What else do we need? Um, That's it, right? You can do it out of play doh too. Let's tell them. Look, this is cool. Oh, we should do that. But we need some paint stuff. and color and all that stuff. Florida for they had to build that bridge. So when that shit hit that, it didn't want to, the top of the bridge didn't want to collapse. Thank you. That's though, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Squeeze. Is it thick? Is it thick? And then pull it out. And it should be liquid.